Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine. Think Magazine put in the geeky, you got me. And today we're going to unbox and set up the K55 RGB Pro from Corsair. This is a RGB style keyboard that has a special function and that is six programmable buttons that you can program with your Stream Deck software. Of course, they also have the IQ software as well. And that's what we're gonna be unboxing next on Geekazine. First, I have to say that I purchased this with my own money and all opinions are of Geekazine. You can go over to geekazine.com forward slash review to find out more information on it. Let's take a look at all the features of the Corsair K55. This is the Pro. There's a Pro and there's a light version. This is the Pro version. It's a full-size rubber membrane keyboard, so it's got a softer, silenter touch to it for when you're gaming or playing or even just typing. It's got five-zone RGB backlighting, which can be programmed to do keystrokes, to do just random colors or a solid color if you wanted to. IP42 rated spill resistance. You spill your soda or your water or whatever on it. You can clean it up no problem you can use it on your pc you can use it on your mac it's got six programmable keys on the far left like i said with the iq software or your stream deck and you're able to uh just do whatever you do like for instance i use a stream deck for all of this like when i switch over from here to here back to here it's not going to have the same look as a stream deck it's not going to have the lcd visuals but you will have these six buttons on the side that you can program to whatever you want so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. It says that it will work on a PC, on a Mac, and an Xbox One. There's certain functionality. This is a USB 2.0 style plug. And of course you can plug it into USB 2.0, just like almost any other keyboard right there. All right, there it is. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Set that to the side. We've got our warranty guide and our safety information right there. We'll set that that this also comes with wrist rest Oops. right there and that's pretty much it inside the box one thing if you didn't know Corsair is actually the parent company to Elgato Elgato actually makes the stream deck which is why we have compatible software back and forth with their hardware it is a uh, plastic wrist rest with a slight cover on it and does have a tactile uh, coarse feel to it so you can definitely put your hands on there and it won't move around let's take a look at the keyboard like I said USB 2.0 so you're gonna see a USB a plug on there, there we go pretty self-explanatory on it we're gonna start with this now you kind of see the stream deck on the corner here that's what these buttons are. Like I said a non-visual version of your stream deck testing the keys that's what it's going to sound like. They're very, yeah, the, the membrane, they're fairly soft. If you want more of a clicky key, this this is probably not going to fill that. But from the feel of it, it uh, feels pretty decent here. Other than that, we've got a standard keyboard, regular QWERTY style keyboard. We've got a numlock area over here. We've got, uh, you know, the insert and the end and the page up and page down arrow buttons down here. We do have on this side a set of play buttons. We have our volume buttons, so we can turn up and down the volume right here. And then a couple extra buttons. We got a, it looks like we got a lock button of some sort and maybe a more programmable button there. Other than that, I don't think this lights up anywhere, but we're going to find out as we plug it in. Looking around the keyboard, the only other feature that we have here is, of course, the kickstand, as you can see. Uh, simple kickstand. It's a one position kicks kickstand. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plug this into a computer and see how it works with the IQ software and with the Stream Deck software. By the way, the wrist rest just snapping it on. You just basically align it up and snap it on like that. All right, simply turning it on, you can see how it's all lit up and it, it, it just comes right out of the box as, as a regular keyboard. It's just going back and forth between the five zones right there. All right, so this is the IQ software. As you can see, I uh, installed it and did all the updates and it's actually showing what the keyboard is doing right now with the lighting. You can see that right here. We can change all the lighting effects as we want to. Uh, we can say key assignments right here, which will be giving us the G keys. That's those side keys that I was talking about. And of course you could also set those up in the stream deck. It got it right here and close that. 
So with our key assignment, we'll just choose the first key here, the G1, hit plus, and then we'll just do something simple. Like we'll just choose text. How's that? None will go. We'll just basically test this out. Every time that we hit that G1 key, that's the text we're going to put in. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So that is for the G1 key, I believe. Yep, there we go. We just assigned it. So if we open up Notepad now and we press the G1 key, we get the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Simple as that. All right, next what you want to do is you want to go into the store of the Stream Deck and look for the IQ Utilities and install that onto your Stream Deck software. Now let's get into the Stream Deck. All right, so I closed out of my Stream Deck and came back into the Stream Deck, and this is what we have. I put in one of the IQ options here, but really you can do almost anything. Stream, yeah, let's do that. We'll do a timer. Bring that over here. And now our second button is a timer. And what it's gonna do, we're gonna do is it's going to play a sound we'll just do the disconnect and then we'll do that we'll do it in 10 seconds so now i'm going to hit the g2 on the keyboard and you see the timer on the screen there and in five four there we go we have our stream deck now attached to the corsair with the iq software and so now we can uh, program these buttons. And there we go, I have it all set. I changed the lighting so it just basically fades back and forth between different colors. And that is the Corsair K55 RGB Pro. They have the Pro version, they have the light version. And uh, you can get the, both of those, in, uh, they're both available now. And that's it, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine, Thick Magazine, Put in the Geek. Uh, you can find me over at youtube.com forward slash geekazine. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification when you want to check out when the next video comes out. Till next time, you guys geek out and light up your keyboard with Corsair.